gas prices in the mid-state remain high, but there could soon be some relief. That's after President Biden announced he'll be tapping into the nation's strategic oil reserve. Daniel Hamburg joins us live to explain. Daniel. Well, Lishan Valerie, Pennsylvania has one of the highest gas prices in the country, sitting at an average of $3.59 a gallon. Drivers we talked with tonight are hopeful it goes down soon. As many people plan their Thanksgiving getaways, they're noticeably paying more at the pump recently. It's not easy in the wallet, but you know, we got to deal with it. Rob McConlog just drove up to Harrisburg from Mississippi. They're about 50 cents higher up here right now, so it's a little, it hits you a little harder coming north, but you know, obviously we're a little closer to the refineries down there. To help, President Biden announced Tuesday he's releasing 50 million barrels of oil from the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve. It will take time, but before long, you should see the price of gas drop where you fill up your tank. The emergency supply has only been used a handful of time in recent decades, but the White House says right now it's top priority with demand outweighing supply. America has reopened and along with it, gasoline demand has really surged. The problem is that oil production has not rebounded significantly enough. It's been kind of chasing demand. Experts say news of the announcement alone will likely be enough to prompt a short term drop in oil prices. Fingers crossed they come down and we can figure it out so people can, you know, visit their families for Christmas at least since they'll be coming down mid December. Fingers crossed. It will take about two weeks for this emergency supply to enter the markets and for stations around the country to lower costs. While our, combination, our combined actions will not solve the problem of high gas prices overnight, it will make a difference. Other countries, including China and India, will release their own reserves in coordination with the U.S. as the world tries to recover from the pandemic and the ongoing supply chain issues. In the studio, Daniel Hamburg, ABC 27 News.